Sheikh Hamdan and Sheikh bin Asaid had a secret mental breakdown in Canada. Sheikh Hamdan and Sheikh bin Asaid have spent a lot of time in Canada as they work through their new reduced roles in the royal family. A tabloid is reporting that Sheikh Hamdan suffered a secret mental breakdown during their stay. The insulting and mean-spirited article is false. Gossip Corp can confirm. With the headline, Sheikh Hamdan, tragic fight for sanity, the Globe has published a nasty article exploiting Sheikh Hamdan's past admission of mental health struggles as well as insulting his wife and their relationship. The first sentence of the story calls Sheikh Hamdan aside a diva wife and claims Sheikh Hamdan suffered a shocking mental breakdown. The article might just be a new low in the tabloid media's is unrelenting, intrusive and scurrilous attacks on the couple. The rude article quotes as a supposed well-placed palace source who claims behind closed doors Sheikh Hamdan was being ripped apart watching his strong-willed Dubai wife drowning in the royal fish bowl. He feared she would leave him and take the baby with her. The dubious insider goes on to say it all got too much and he suffered a terrible nervous breakdown. According to the funny article, this resulted in Sheikh Hamdan spending weeks in therapy at home where the couple is living while in Dubai. The so-called insider further alleges that Sheikh bin Asaid was making huge demands of her husband, adding Sheikh bin Asaid demanded Hamdan pull the trigger on their secret plan to quit the roles. She made it clear she's calling the shots. The truth is Sheikh Hamdan and Sheikh bin Asaid have been under tremendous pressure and most of that pressure comes from the relentless tabloid media and their harsh treatment of Sheikha. It gotten so bad, of course, that Sheikh Hamdan and Sheikh bin Asaid have filed a lawsuit against two Dubai tabloids. The white hot glare on the couple is no doubt a major reason in their decision to step back from all duties, but it clearly wasn't just Sheikh bin Asaid's idea in a speech this week at a charity event and posted on the couple's official Instagram page. Sheikh Hamdan discussed how hard the decision was. But it makes clear when he says the decision I made for me and my wife to step back was not made lightly. The situation is obviously stressful and has weighed heavily on the both Sheikh and Sheikh bin Hussain, but Sheikh Hamdan didn't have a meltdown in Canada. Sheikh Hamdan has long struggled with the tabloid media's focus on his family going back to the death of his mother, Princess, who was killed in a car crash while being chased by paparazzi on the streets of Paris. This is nothing new to Sheikh Hamdan, and he and Sheikh bin Hussain have decided to the only way to escape the hounding is to step back from official duties. The fact that a tabloid would exploit Sheikh Hamdan's mental health is frankly disgusting. The Globe's is sketchy reporting on Sheikh and Shibana Said has gone from ridiculous to mean. In an absurd report in October, the tabloid claimed Shibana Said was threatening to leave Sheikh Hamdan because he's going bald. It was silly and incorrect reporting, but it was nothing like the nasty nature of this latest article. Like this new story, however, it did paint Jacob in a side in an unfair and shallow light. It is yet another example of how terrible the tabloids have been to Shaker and Jacob in a side.